Despite opening up to an early 16 point lead, and junior guard Ryan Whitman scoring career high 33 points, Cornell cannot hold on against number 16 Syracuse in what may be their toughest opponent for the year. They went on to lose the game 88 to 78 in a big matchup here at the Carrier. And you said it right there, Jake. The story of the game was Cornell jumping out to a 25 to 9 lead behind the three point shooting of Ryan Whitman. Whitman started out the game absolutely unconscious from behind the other. They give Whitman really good looks, and he came out right from the beginning. You, know, you let a guy like him get going, and uh, he's he's a tremendous shooter. And he's been building that up for a while. But, uh, I just think he's at a point in his career where he f is very confident in his ability to make plays against any level of competition. In terms of shooting the ball, it probably was one of my better performances. Really well and I got to take my hat off to him, man. He made some tough shots and he played a great game. Uh, but at this level, I don't think there's a, a better all-around basketball player. Despite Whitman's hot hand, Cornell missed their all Ivy League starting backcourt, Lewis Dale and Adam Gore. Cornell's even without uh, the two guys they're missing, they're obviously a lot better with those two guys. But uh, the guys that take their place are pretty good players. Reeves is a real good player, and their point guard did a good job. But uh, when they don't have those two guys, they look for Whitman, and he gets a lot of shots. You know, it's always tough when you lose uh, Lewis and Adam, uh, all of you backcourt. Um, you know, other guys have had to step in and do things. I've had to be a little more aggressive offensively. You know, with Lou down, it kind of gives the rest of us a chance to build and uh, improve ourselves and really get the confidence back. So when he comes back, it's going to be a scary team to play. I'm excited, not necessarily that we lost, but my vision of this basketball team is that we're going to be a pretty good team in about two months. Even without Dale and Gore, Cornell was able to jump out to a 40-35 first half lead. Unfortunately for the Big Red, Syracuse head coach Jim Beheim was able to set the tone for a comeback. What did Beheim say in the locker room at halftime? <laughs> it was on camera to be a lot of bees. <laughs> nah, he, just, he just told us that, that we're making this guy look like an All-American. We got some things out of our press. We got some turnovers. Uh, we got them to take a couple quick shots, and we kind of got back in it. <laughs> you know, like I gotta try to do something, man. You know, what's my main best thing is rebound. And I was going hard to the glass and putting it back in. Whitman's hot streak, which ended in the second half, was in part due to the defensive performance of Syracuse guard Andy Routen. Uh, you know, we just did a much, much better job locating in the second half. Uh, you know, it came off a lot of screens and we were switching in the first, so we just had to play more aggressive man defense. And, uh, you know, but we said what told me he had a great game and he was on fire tonight, so, he, you know, he shot the ball really well tonight. They started jumping out on ball screens and, and down screens and stuff. Uh, you know, after you start hitting shots like that, teams are going to do that. You know, he played great. You know, Andy 6'5 really used his length against him off the ball. He was bodying up with him and you know, really frustrating. You know, when a guy like that, when it's hot like that, you always want to get a hand in his face. You always want to frustrate him. You know, sometimes he's going to hit the shot, sometimes he's not. But I think Andy did a good job of making every shot that he took, or at least almost every shot he took a hard and difficult one. Despite Whitman getting cold towards the end of the game, the Reds still had some positives. Especially on the boards, the Red held the rebounding edge 36 to 32, including 16 boards on the offensive end. Look for this to translate into better performances on the boards and wins as they progress in the non-conference schedule. Reporting here from the Carrier Dome in Syracuse, New York, I'm Jake Mazda. And I'm Sam Alanikoff. Slope TV.